Number 1. It is the only metal that's yellow. While other metals may develop a yellowish hue or color, that typically only happens after they have reacted with other chemicals. Gold is the only naturally yellow metal on the market. Pure gold is yellow in part because it absorbs blue light more than other visible wavelengths of light. A substance absorbing blue light will reflect the rest of the spectrum. Gold is on the last row of the periodic table with the atomic number 79 and the chemical symbol O. With 79 protons in its nucleus, the electrons of a gold atom are subjected to a powerful electrostatic attraction. As a noble metal, gold is resistant to chemical attacks, even at high temperatures. Number 2. Different Forms of Investment As touched on above, new investors have many different options when they are looking to garner money through investing in the yellow metal. In some parts of the world, buying gold in the form of jewelry remains the largest and most traditional method of obtaining gold supply, particularly in India. For the most part, buying gold jewelry is done for sentimental value and is considered decorative artwork. It is more expensive to buy gold jewelry than to simply purchase a gold nugget. Should investors choose gold jewelry, it is important to keep in mind carat amounts and their relation to price. Aside from jewelry, gold investing can be done in a number of other ways, including Gold bars and coins, this includes regular coins, collectible coins and gold bullion bars. They can be stored at a financial institution or personally. Gold ETFs, most gold ETFs track the physical gold price. According to Gold.org, in terms of grams of gold mined, one gold-backed ETF unit typically represents one gram of the yellow metal. ETFs can be bought and traded on stock exchanges. Gold-focused stocks When investing in gold companies, investors should know how volatile the market can be. Gold mining stocks in particular can have a 3 to 1 leverage on the gold price. Gold Futures a futures agreement allows gold to be traded at a predetermined amount or price with the settlement day in the future. This means that the investor doesn't have to pay for the gold at the time the agreement is made, nor does the seller have to provide the investor with the gold until the agreed upon date. Precious Metals 2020 Outlook Over It is not consumed. Contrary to popular belief, gold isn't consumed like many other commodities. The metal isn't burned like gas and coal, and only about 12% of the world's gold is used for industrial purposes. A small portion of gold is used in electronics, computers, the medical and dental fields and in the aerospace sector to lubricate mechanical pieces. The remaining 88% is used in jewelry and for investment purposes, such as gold coins and bars. Unlike gas and coal or even copper, Almost all of the gold that has been produced over time still exists and is held by institutions or by people. Number 4. It is the most malleable metal. Malleability can be defined as how easily a metal can be hammered or pressed out of its shape without breaking or cracking. Gold is the most malleable of the metals, one ounce can be beaten into a sheet of roughly 5 meters on one side. The resulting sheet of gold can then be struck enough times that it becomes so thin it's transparent. Not only that, but the yellow metal can be rolled, twisted and squeezed into a variety of shapes, all while remaining intact, this is often done during jewelry making. Gold ranges between a 2 or a 3 out of 10 on the hardness scale. Only when the yellow metal reaches its melting point can its purity be dismantled due to temperature. 5. Basic facts about gold, it can be viewed as a currency. Last, but certainly not least, gold has interesting currency-like tendencies. BMG Bullion notes that gold retains its purchasing power better than paper currencies. While gold works as a currency, many don't see it as one, as you can exactly use it to buy food at the grocery store. But, similar to other currencies, it has a price that fluctuates. As seen in recorded history, it typically increases as the US dollar drops and falls as the dollar moves up. The yellow metal can also be bought and stored, and it has the ability to be converted into money in a variety of currencies. Gold has been known since prehistoric times and was one of the first metals to be worked, mainly because it was to be found as nuggets or as particles in the beds of streams.
Such was the demand that by 2000 BC the Egyptians began mining gold. The death mask of the Tutankhamun, who died in 1323 BC, contained 100 kilograms of the metal. The royal graves of ancient Ur, modern Iraq, which flourished from 3800 to 2000 BC, also contain gold objects. The minting of gold coins began around 640 BC in the Kingdom of Lydia, situated in what is now modern Turkey, using electrum, a native alloy of gold and silver. The first pure gold coins were minted in the reign of King Croesus, who ruled from 561 to 547 BC. Atomic number, number of protons in the nucleus, 79. Atomic symbol, on the periodic table of elements, O. Atomic weight, average mass of the atom, 196.9665. Density, 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Phase at room temperature, solid. Melting point, 1947.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 1064.18 degrees Celsius. Boiling point, 5162 degrees Fahrenheit, 2850 degrees Celsius. Number of isotopes, atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons, between 18 and 59 depending on where the line for an isotope is drawn. Many artificially created gold isotopes are stable for microseconds or milliseconds before decaying into other elements. One stable isotope. Most common isotopes, O197, which makes up 100% of naturally occurring gold. Most gold jewelry isn't made of pure gold. The amount of gold in a necklace or ring is measured on the carat scale. Pure gold is 24 carats. Bars of gold kept in Fort Knox and elsewhere around the world are considered to be 99.95% pure, 24 carat gold. As metals are added to gold during jewelry making, the gold becomes less fine and the number of carats drops. For example, 12 carat gold contains 50% gold and 50% alloys by weight. Fool's Gold the inferior mineral nicknamed fool's gold only mimics gold in locks. Pyrite is more common, harder, and more brittle than gold. When crushed into powder, it looks greenish black, whereas real gold powder is yellow. Pyrite contains sulfur and iron. During World War II it was mined to produce sulfuric acid, an industrial chemical. Today, it is used in car batteries, appliances, jewelry, and machinery. Although fool's gold can be a disappointing find, it is often discovered near sources of copper and gold. A miner who stops digging once they have a piece of pyrite in hand is the real fool. People in hard hats working underground is what often comes to mind when thinking about gold mining. Yet mining the ore is just one stage in a long and complex process. Long before any gold can be extracted, significant exploration and development needs to take place both to determine, as accurately as possible, the size of the deposit as well as how to extract and process the ore efficiently, safely and responsibly. On average, it takes between 10-20 years before a mine is even ready to produce material that can be refined. Humans have known gold and treasured it since prehistoric times. Who discovered gold? We do not know, it was discovered before there were written records. We know there is a good chance the discoverer found it in a riverbed. Gold is usually associated with rocks such as quartz and pyrites. As these rocks undergo weathering or erosion by water, the gold can be washed into rivers allowing people to find it easily. Currently we can trace our use of gold back to at least 6,200 years ago. A variety of objects made of gold have been found in Bulgaria from 4,500-4,000. Although alchemy failed in its goal, the experimental techniques alchemists developed were important to the early chemists. Alchemists believed gold was made of a mixture of perfectly purified mercury and sulfur, mixed in the perfect proportions. 10. Constant failure to produce gold simply meant substances were not yet pure enough or the perfect proportions had not yet been found. Alchemists' concepts of mercury and sulfur were different from ours, while they did include the substances we call mercury and sulfur, 
They also encompassed other metals and substances. The word gold is an Anglo-Saxon word, similar to the Anglo-Saxon word for yellow, giallo. It is believed to have come from the Sanskrit jvo.